Yo, what's good? What's good? What's happening? It's your boy, Chosen Found, back at his spaceship. Back with the reactions. We're gonna react to another. Since I low key been, I don't know. This this is a good percentage of probably y'all that don't fuck with the scary content. But I like fucks with the scary content, and there's some of y'all that really do. So I appreciate, I appreciate those that like support me. That just like you know, just stay up with your kid, with the with the boy, just you know. But um, I decided to choose another channel called um Chills. And I'm not sure, but I think that this is this is the guy, this is that guy. I think this is the guy. He's like when he does the countdowns, he's like number three. I don't know. I don't fucking know, bro. Just let's just get into it. Oh, I didn't even read the title. Um, thirty scary videos causing viewers to panic. So this 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 might be good, bro. This just coming might be up good. in this video. <laughs> when I seen this, I started I started bugging. Bro. Like, what? Did you hear that? No. Whatever you do, remain calm. Because these 30 scary videos are causing viewers to panic. Number 30, yeah, Ritual in him. the Cemetery. Something evil is- This is the most viewed um, video on their thing. I don't know why I in say this that. cemetery and YouTube team Zona Paranormal Veracruz pays witness to it and they'll soon regret it. Like, bro, this, you can't be a real person, bro. Some fucked up shit, bro. It's hard to tell what is going on from afar, but this definitely ritual. looks to me like a dark ritual, and as it continues, it grows louder. I ain't trying to listen to none of that. They start playing with fire. Bro, like, sometimes, like, I really, I don't wonder, but when I watch these videos, I really wonder the people that are possessed to do these things. Like, what brings you, what brings you this far to be going through this, bro? Like, then it seems like they spot him, and he quickly starts making his way out of the cemetery. This person, after fleeing the scene, the figures catch up with him. Oh, he, he, don't, he don't fight back. What? <laughs> I think they did, but he manages some? to escape them again. But if I were him, oh boy, you walking I'd out there by yourself? Running. I don't know what kind of ritual these figures were engaging in, but I wouldn't put it past them to offer a human sacrifice. Number 29, possessed. Are we about to witness a true demonic possession? Trent <sighs> in the Sometimes I wonder, like, Finished speaking YouTube community, I came across this thumbnail from El Gap. The video's original yeah, the source is yourself. unknown. What you see is a woman clearly out of her senses. Turn your emotion. Mm -mm. I'm skipping. I'm skipping, y'all. Like, I'm not scared, but. Now, the is more powerful when in Latin. As she contorts her body, the say? terror grows. Is he throwing holy water on her, bro? He was throwing something on her. No, She's uh... very clearly possessed. I've been lost for years. Tired of corporate America going mm -hmm. woke? 
If you own stock, you can be part of the solution. Companies like Disney, Anheuser-Busch, Alright, move on to the next one, bro. Move on to the next one. Or maybe she just has a stiffness in her neck? Without context, we may never know. But all joking aside, if I, I saw this, I'd be calling a priest. Number 28, Nightmare. The next time you lash out in your sleep, bro, honestly, remember, like this you may be lashing out at a ghost. Redditor Flimsy Masked Dawn shares this footage of a man's sleep being disturbed in a horrific bro, way. According to the bed, comments, bro. the original source of this footage is YouTuber Lance Stewart. What? I think I've seen his videos around. So I think he was on blind or something. What is pulling this man from his bed? Some are saying it's been faked. I don't know, it could be, But bro. if this is real... I don't know. I don't know if I'm believing it, bro, because he... he, he would, I don't know, I think he's done pranks before be and stuff, like too. That too. I think this video might have me sleeping on the floor tonight. Yeah, Number yeah, 27, ahead. Pet yeah, Spirits. Me. The spirits of our pets may never leave us, and here is more <laughs> proof... Redditor warning no 9188 writes that their dog passed away last month and now their security camera has captured strange happenings on two separate occasions, both during the same day and without explanation. That is creepy. What? On both occasions, a cart on the Redditor's oh, yeah, back deck it, it, appears to move on its own. Some in the comments believe it's the dog returned. Others think that's wishful thinking. Sometimes I feel like you just be making up some stuff. Wishful thinking, bro. What else would it be? Well, many are saying it looks windy out. All I can see is one small leaf move on the step. Yeah, but like... The Redditor also says the cart is very heavy. So what is this? The wind or a very loyal dog returned from the afterlife? I prefer to believe the second theory. Number 26, Screaming House. This haunted screaming house is whispering. Rion of the YouTube team, Staffordshire Paranormal Explorers, captures this EVP while on her solo vigil there. Give me a tap, give me a bang. Mm. You can use my energy. Did you hear it? There's... Why? Why open up yourself like that? female hum although this hum is very quiet it's definitely there I can hear it others in the comments agree that the screaming house is an active place and this evidence suggests to me that a female spirit is its keeper number 25 demon in the wake of her sister's passing Rachel believes a demon is haunting her. YouTube team Paranormal yes, Nightmare TV series investigates, and their video footage captures an EVP whispering. Yeah. What? With Sean inside on a solo investigation, the demon requests someone else. I thought it was. Came to the kitchen like you wanted. I used to watch. Yes. I here trying to set this camera up so I can set over here on the couch. What you want, Rocky, in here? I just bro, do they got a hanging lake right now? A little later, the music box is triggered. In the house, bro. That freaking alarm like hardly ever goes off. Are you in here with me right now? Like one thing with the sugar spoon. 
this cabinet they call the death cabinet because there are several urns with ashes in it. Excuse me. These people entertain this. Like, obviously, like, they got the night vision camera and all that stuff. Not, I don't mean that. I mean in the way where all that little crap in their house probably entertains spirits like that, bro. Like, and I ain't even talking about the sugar skulls because, like, those is rep embracing death. And, like, that's one thing. But another thing of, like, traveling around and collecting what could happen to be haunted stuff is, like, a whole nother thing, bro. Mine keeps going off. <laughs> On another because, like, how do, you, how do you wonder... How you wonder if some demon lord is in your house if you, like... That, apparently, this is what you wanted, bro. Like, uh, they capture what sounds like a woman's gasp. Because what is that hanging, bro? That can't, like... That's your house. Like, you feel comfortable? You like that? When he asks the spirit to make its presence known, bro, he hears like, another female voice. Bro, let me shut up. Let me presence shut up. now on. Bro, like, what is that hanging? What is that, bro? Is that a ram? It don't look like a ram. It look like a freaking... I don't even know. And this sugar skull right here is creepy as hell. Damn, it's another sugar skull right there. All right, all right, I'm doing an ASMR now. And that's probably another skull right here. And then the wallpaper is skull. I ain't got a problem with skulls. It just, it just represents death. It's inevitable, but like, bro. Really? And then y'all gonna Well, have that's unnecessary. He then hears knocking right behind <coughs> him. I heard something knocking in there. When he goes to investigate, the knocking occurs again, and then a very intelligent message is offered. Respect. Who was that? I really, really, really do not want to go back here. But I'm I made that sound. No, that's the most scariest. Way. Holy. That's the most, like, bro, scariest thing, bro. I remember. Because I was curious. Because I was curious. I remember one time. Because, like, there's, like, an app. There's, like, an app. You know it's how like the ghost hunters or whatever, they'll have like a machine. I guess that's connected to weight radio frequency. So they have apps like that, right? And bro, I don't know why what drove me, what possessed me to download this thing, right? I guess it's like my weird fascination, right? Like I don't see I'm a like I'm black, but I don't think I would ever, and I'm recording myself, so I really got to be mindful. Time can go by fast in an instant, bro. But I would never think of myself of going to Like, deliberately going to a haunted place. Now, it depends how, I would say, a person or whatever is killed. But usually, it's not in the best. What am I talking about, bro? Like, see, I'm going into stories, into stories. Basically, with this app, I didn't go anywhere. I think I was home, bro. And I turned that app on, bro, and all I heard was just laughing. I turned it right off, bro. Like, that shit creeped me the fuck out, bro. So, like, hearing that. But I don't think I would ever. I don't even want to say ever go to a haunted place because I think I would. But not... I guess the point that I'm trying to make is 
if a place is paranormal and it's known to be paranormal, I'm not going to deliberately go just to get proof that it's paranormal. There is some I wild activity in this place, that. and I do believe there's a demon here. <clears throat> According to the guys, their investigation put an end to the activity, so thankfully, they were able to help Rachel out. Number 24, wow. Hutchinson House. Whoa, how the though? You didn't, that, there was no resolution. I really, really, really want to go back. <laughs> what was that about? I made that sound. No effing way. Holy there is some wild activity in this place, right. and I do believe there's a demon here. Okay. According to the guys, their investigation put an end to the activity, so thankfully, they were able to help Rachel out. Number 24, okay. Hutchinson House. From EVPs to unexplained reflections, yeah, the YouTube team Blue Line Paranormal experiences unearthly <laughs> evidence at the historic Hutchinson House. Those on the staircase, the they capture an EVP that chills them to the bone. That was a ghost. This is made even creepier by the backstory that this home is rumored to have been the site of someone taking a person's life in another room. Their K2 meters are triggered, and they receive a mysterious message is through it? a spirit app. Cigar. This, too, is something that the owner had experienced, a random whiff of cigars in the home. The baby doll appears to trigger the most K2 activity. Something evil is clearly attached to it. Turn it off. Don't leave. Anything that's negative in this house is welcome. But the most horrifying capture is yet to come. Keep an eye on the mirror in the corner of the room. That's a mirror? That's not like a window. Somebody peeking in the doorway? Something is reflected in it, and yet, no one oh, is in the room. Mirror. It's this piece of evidence that has me convinced a terrible event occurred in this place, and it remains in the portal. Number 23, Stigmatized Property. This Japanese stigmatized property has been abandoned for a reason. YouTube channel Fourth Wall shares this footage captured inside. Watch the back shelf on the left. Bro, I don't jack that this is a person, like. Something falls off for no good reason. Yeah. After the residents moved from the place, another security camera captures a door opening in the now empty room. Oh, creepy, 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 creepy. Who coming out? It looks like a figure is standing near the doorway. Is it? Oh, I had to edit that though. There is something in this that. stigmatized home, and it seems to me it doesn't want living people here. It has succeeded in ridding the home of them. If you liked this video, check out Fourth Wall for more. All videos have English subtitles. Number 22, Taxel Lodge Boarding School. Located in Derbyshire, England, Taxel Lodge Boarding School was so haunted that they had to shut it down. Upon entering, the YouTube team explore beyond immediately. Here's a disturbance. As soon as we got in here, we heard like a very strange noise. We were waiting for them. We were setting up. And we came from sort of where we are now, maybe upstairs. It was like a, a loud bang thing. Was it a loud bang? No bang on it. No matter. What's that bad? They continue onward anyway, and soon enough, oh, hear another stuff. noise. Make a noise. Ooh. Yeah, drop the ball. Yeah. That's the part, bro. That's the part that be killing me. I got to do a bit, bro. Once they hear something, 
it's the it's the, it's the camera look. <laughs> it's the hear something that looks straight at the camera for me, bro. Like multiple paranormal devices are triggered sequentially. Oh, that must be the machine thing. Can you touch one of the other two for us, please? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Not me. Not you, one. It's like the spirit ran through the rooms, setting off one after the other. When they ask the spirit to set one off again, they listen. So you set one more device off. Thank you for that. They hear noises, and the devices are triggered frequently. What was that? Is that that? Go try, 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 try. Oh my f***. Both of them. Can I try and put that one? Absolutely. Then they hear glass crunching and footsteps. And again. There's a tapping at the window. That was really loud on that window. Excuse me? There definitely seems to me to be something lurking around this boarding school. I believe it was closed down for a reason. Number 21, stop reading. No context is provided for this video, but it appears that the YouTube team, Outsider Paranormal SWPA, is reading scripture to rid this haunted place of its demons. And then this happens. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. They are told to shut up. Apparently, the demon doesn't care for scripture. Whatever is here seems to be capable of responding to them. We just want to know why you're here. And I just want your picture. You can answer those couple oh, things, we'll leave. Yo. I just seen some crazy in this one. Yes, answer. They ask why the spirit is here and capture this unsettling EVP. Why are you here? We're calling them Here it is man. again. How could you end the life of a spirit? And is the culprit still in this place? I don't think I'd stick around to find out. Number 20, Mouth uh, Cemetery. I'm not this as a real Michigan's person, most haunted cemetery has sure got a mouth got no on it. On YouTube team Afterlife Road Productions is just starting their investigation of Mouth Cemetery when they hear something moving nearby. Something's just moving right back here. I've only been here for like five minutes, maybe. This gave me the creeps. But I don't know why. Later, during I don't know why that cemetery reminds me. There's a specific video out there. That's one of my favorite videos that I seen on Facebook one time of this dude crying. Hopefully I'm gonna try to find it on my phone but this dude crying cause his girlfriend or his baby moms threw his car keys at a cemetery and he has fear. He has fe he has a fear of cemetery so this grown man is crying telling like w talking about what's going on and then it's broad daylight it's not even nighttime, bro. It's it's fucking hilarious, bro. I can't watch it with a straight face. Box session. They're told by the spirits, you found me. 
Oh, it sounded like uh, we got something. Like you yeah, found me. Something. Yeah, you were... As they continue with this session, they hear and see something. I just heard something, I swear. I saw something. Like, did, did you see something over here? Yeah, Shadow. I seen it earlier. Wait, same spot between those two trees, kind of? Yep. I swear I saw mm -hmm. like a tall shadow just move. The shadow they saw is near where he heard something earlier. That's the same spot I heard yes. something walking to. That was oh. standing behind that tree. Oh, okay. So I'm wondering if that ghost is stuck that in spot. a loop. And then we got a voice of the same Bro, exact I wonder how the I ghost saw. be feeling yeah. just witnessing Although they didn't like. capture the shadow man on camera, the fact that they both saw it in the same place is enough for me to believe there's a dark spirit walking amongst the gravestones, and who knows what its intentions are. Number 19, Haunted Farm. This farm is home to more than just animals. YouTuber Katrina Weidman and her crew spend the night at this haunted homestead and try to unravel the mystery Bro, what is that in one area of the eye. home. Heather is feeling some sort of electrical current. I feel like there's something that's causing me to feel like, a, like an electric sensation throughout my body. I know that sounds really weird, but I don't really see anything that could be causing that. Meanwhile, on the other side of the house, Katrina is also getting a bad vibe. I feel so comfortable. I feel like stuff is on my hair. <sighs> That's me. I don't like it over here. It feels so uncomfortable. Zach and Jay are on the staircase when they capture this unexplained sound. Hello? Did you hear that? No. Wait, what was it? Like, ah, yeah. What the f Dude, Did that sound good? Up there? Did, did you yeah, hear it? Got I think so, so yeah. Too, yeah. When they enter the room to investigate, they capture a bit of heat on their infrared camera. Oh. oh. See that? Yeah. Show me, show me. Show me. They then knock, and something knocks back. It's like a pretty big, deep bang. Did you hear that? No. It was just the feeling of unease felt by the women, and these sounds heard by the men, are proof to me that this farm has a story to tell. And judging by that creepy hiss, I have a feeling it's an evil one. Number 18, yeah, A Night black. with the Chin. There is no rest for the wicked. YouTuber HD Adam passes a night with the chin, and this evil keeps him wide awake. The chin is lurking. Did you see it? I can't see it now. Then Ooh. something appears to come out from the wall. What's up with them creeping behind walls, bro? Like, I really need to know. Yeah, bro. Adam arrives, I've seen one and of them more one activity time. begins. One time in my life. Nah, what's up with them walls, though? There's always walls and doors. At this point, things go haywire. When I learned about Mind Bloom, I was curious if psychedelic therapy could actually help with those symptoms. Later, he does a ritual in the mirror, mm -hmm. and I wish he hadn't. Oh no, that's not real, bro. rid the place of it or is it That's hiding fake, i don't know enough bro. about this ritual to understand what he's brought upon him bro ain't no way bro ain't no way you're that calm ain't no way you're this calm bro It do look like a professor right behind me, but nah. Nah, bro. It look like you got a book bag on, bro. Like, nah, bro. Like, I'm not 
jacking it, no way. Fuck me. Fuck me. And he even like come from behind him. It's a cutscene. He was saying a prayer to the place Allah. of it, or is it hiding? It. I don't know enough about this ritual to understand what he's brought upon himself, but this image is sure to give me nightmares. <laughs> Number 17 <laughs> the figures. A horrific mass ending of life occurred here. In its place are statues of remembrance, but they're creepy ones. Sure YouTuber is. Crystal Luna is touring the place, Why did I and she quickly coming? begins to feel yeah. unsettled. Oh. Why they cut? Why why they in mo like? Why the statues are in motion like that? Chriselle feels like she's being followed. Oh, I won't get deep bro, no, nah, that's creepy, bro. There's one thing having statues. There's another thing. Having colored statues, but statues in motion on the ground, bro. And frozen, bro. What is that? Y'all seen that? That's another statue, bro. A moment later, Hell she hears no. a noise from above. That's a statue right there. Fuck out of here. A moment later, she hears a noise from above. Pero si quiero. Mm -mm. It definitely sounds like something. Is something here? She continues and arrives at one of the creepiest <laughs> displays Bro, yet. What are you doing over there by yourself? You're praying? To what? Who uses that light skin figure? Who are these light skin figures? She starts to feel like all the figures are watching figures? her. Then she comes to the chapel and this happens. Oh my god, bro. Fake ass pope. It's not clear what moved, and as she's looking around, it moves again. What moves? I know. I know. Get out of that church. Why? Are they little statues? Like they're talking amongst each other, bro. That shit is, that shit is absurd. I'm with Chriselle on this one. It's time bro, to run. Is that, bro? Number 16. It looks like one of, it's, like, it's like one of them games. I don't know if it's more than one game like this, but them fucking statue shits that was <laughs> the way they move, bro. Like, that's There's what that shit looks like. Here. Is it good or is it evil? Mm. YouTuber Luan Mendez and his team are investigating this abandoned place when they encounter a girl ghost, one that they're familiar with. Vega! What? Is she jumping? Amidst all of this Bro, chaos, is she jumping they asked the girl to show them a flower that Luan gifted her on a previous occasion. <laughs> Amidst all of this chaos, Bro. they asked the girl to show them a Bro, flower the, that Luan gifted the hand her out. on a previous the... occasion. <laughs> Yo, bro. Now I'm trying to look close at this shit, bro. Did you see her? Yes. Although it's hard to tell if what he saw is there or not, a moment later, when he returns to the doorway, it has vanished. Either way. I'm not sure there's anything to bro, fear. Bro, you got The ghost girl go may just be looking this, for bro, a friend. To just be doing this. Number 15. To be Ultra scared of something and still look for YouTube shit, bro. YouTube team like, Salty what? Paranormal Group may have brought an attachment yeah, home with stupid, them. Bro. They own a cleaning business, and after cleaning out an abandoned house, they brought home a large jewelry box for their daughter. The daughter didn't like it in her room. And ever since moving it into their garage, strange things have been happening. 
This is one of them. After something randomly jumps ship off of her desk, she leaves the room, and then her seat moves. Is this just a coincidence? I don't think so. My theory is that they unknowingly brought a Dybet box home. And if so, her daughter was right to fear it, because the spirit inside is malicious. Number 14. Scratched. While visiting a haunted antique mall in Canada, YouTuber Kelsey Davies interacts with a doll that starts fires, and it isn't playing around. Oh, it's laughing. I thought it was, like, crying. No, that doll is, like, <laughs> I, just, I don't know how I feel about this one. I mean, it's, like, happy, but it just doesn't look right. This isn't the haunted doll, the but it is one of the many they come across in the antique mall. As they look around, they spot other creepy oddities, including this self-rocking wow. chair. Wait, what the f That's creepy. Is it like mechanical? Oh. If you're not is it mechanical? dollars per year, but you'd like to mechanical bro? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> bro one thing that pet peeves me bro it's like there's people out there that won't jack shit be haunted and like when they would be coming up with like oh maybe it was like the draft when there's no windows open and just like they just make up shit bro that should be their fear, and that's when Kelsey gets scratched by something unseen. Oh my god, really clearly. That. that was really oh, creepy. Shit. I was just walking and I felt like a scratch on my leg. I said, Ow! And then I looked down, I have a scratch. That's even she does. crazier because she, she just said it like five feet ago. Well, yeah. That's when they arrive at the real deal. Anybody here who is attached to the doll? The disrespect. The disrespect forward. to that cheetah. Is that a is that a leopard? I'm I'm not even paying no mind. Is that a leopard or a cheetah? And then I look down. Couch? I have a scratch. <laughs> she does. She you does. She just said cheetah. it like five seconds ago. You're yeah. gonna have a dead That's cheetah standing on a fucking cheetah couch. That's not even cheetah. Is attached to the Disrespectful. doll. Leopard. If they could come forward and make it when they ask the spirit to show itself, an orb appears on camera. Can you show yourself to the camera right here, please? Oh. Shut the f up. That's been happening the entire time. Thank you. Was Kelsey's earlier scratch the work of this possessed doll? Or does something else in this antique mall have a demonic attachment? Personally, I think any one of these objects of curiosity could be the perpetrator. Number 13, Merley House. Like, the the Merley House to? boasts over 250 years of documented paranormal activity. YouTube team CBS Paranormal Vicky is about to add to it. As they're sitting in the living room of the Manor House, they see something, and then they hear something. I, I swear I just did. I thought I saw something poking its head, like the reflection. What was that? I don't know. A moment later, they hear it again. What is that? Then their paranormal bear moves on its own. No, no, so, so it's it's what? Like that, mm. A dog. I was, I was pointing at it. I was facing it. I got that. You can see the bear shift ever so slightly. And a little later, it does it again. Did I just do that again? I don't know if I was... No, it's gonna oh my... Oh, yeah. It's gonna fall in a minute. It's gonna fall in a minute. It's gonna fall in a minute. Can you, can, you, can you touch the bear? Do children still roam around this manor house? It looks that way to me. But Probably it seems like they just want to play. 
Do you think the spirits here are harmless? Number 12. Stalked at night. Oh, Randonautica serves up thrills and chills on a creepy overnighter with YouTube team near shadows. And before long, they face off with their scariest stalker yet. First, they head into the woods where they already feel like they're being watched. I think there's beasts coming. They continue and they keep hearing things. Hello? Do you see anything? Just kind of follow the light. Just trail the light slowly, pan with me. I hear a lot of stuff. There is a lot. They arrive at a clue, and it's a, a creepy clue? one. Oh, I thought it was a doll. No, it's not a doll. I'm like, okay, oh my god. Do like, you think you really you don't want to touch it, but you're touching it anyway? Yeah, Look at it. No, it's uh. Oh, touch it. But things only get so creepier good, from here. As they're leaving the woods, they hear something that ensures they're not alone. Hello. Yeah, the front is on. Did you hear that? That was like a clown laugh. Might be. That was a clown laugh. Yes, might be. Okay. Did that sound like a clown laugh to you? I don't know. I didn't really hear it. Did you hear that? That was like a clown yeah, laugh. Like some joke I'm not sure thing. it's a clown, but it's definitely someone trying to mess with them. And that's scary enough as it is. Gosh. Number 11. That's it. Scientist. Are you a skeptic? YouTuber Tyler Blanchard takes a scientist ghost hunting, and this is what happens. What happens? Trying to invalidate the gear that people are trying to use to, to commune with you. If the gear was invalid, they wouldn't be able to talk to us through it. Yeah. Okay. Their camera unexpectedly malfunctions. They later send Alex up to check out one of their paranormal devices, the flashlight. They're coming here. Temperature's dropping. 69, 60. All right, temperature's back. He concludes from his experiment that the light is sensitive no, so to the temperature, circles, and when it cools, it turns what? on. Yeah, that was the when light. It's too that hot, was it turns that. off. That's it, boys. Gentlemen, Joe. It's temperature. I have thermal camera data. It is the temperature. You can see the temperature climb to 71 as it's on. Then the temperature comes back down to 69. It's a cycle. So flashlights may be questionable, but later they're in the cellar testing out the music box device when right. Tyler feels something touch his head. The idea is you're like, yeah, it's only three feet of range. It's like, like the problem is it's like, okay, here's the thing. If... And then this happens. Is, is something in the room with us right now? If you are, can you set off this music box? I was dead like, yo, who's that in the mirror? But that's obviously the cameraman. But the cameraman looked just like this guy with a different shirt on. What I conclude from this is that while the technical weird. aspects of some ghost gear may be easy enough to call into question their legitimacy, others are baffling, and that leaves me a believer. Number believer. 10. Bro, this person Walker, cannot be real, bro. Redditor Hookah Man thought they had like, a coyote ghost on their hands when they saw this on their security footage at one in the morning. Take a look. Is that a monkey? The way how it was just walking. You see how it's walking? If like you that? watch the left hand side of the screen, you can see a transparent pale creature move across the snow. Yes, yeah, the creature yeah. disappears momentarily before becoming a more solid figure that some believe is then walking on two legs. This is making some think it's a legendary shapeshifter. What? What, like. Because honestly, a skinwalker could be well, anything. I personally think this could possibly be a skinwalker. It doesn't uh, like some, I sometimes I don't even think they have the quirk of a low bitrate camera, as form. some in the comments suggest. And they could possibly do it. But oh, oh what do you me. think this is? Number oh nine, demon. 
the YouTube team. Where wasn't one called that? Investiga Casadores Gilendas encounters a demon on their tour of this abandoned place after finding a pentagram. I can't show pentagrams in here. And an animal skull. Okay. They know something evil is present, so they shouldn't be too surprised when this happens. I don't even know how Phil fell. Oh, someone pushed him? What did they see? This? this demon almost had them all to himself, although I think they knew this was coming. It doesn't look to me like they were prepared to meet the devil. I think it's time to get out of here. Whoa, what was well, they that? Still can. Number eight, yeah, Grandma's soul. Ass, like, Who would bro. What is this? That's obviously a mask. I ain't got no words. I ain't got no words for this, bro. And number eight, Wait. grandma's soul. Who wouldn't want to speak to the spirits of one's beloved grandmother? Mm -hmm. The YouTuber Eugene of Dark Mystic enters this abandoned home, where he immediately spots what appears to be a face in the window. But are we just imagining things? Upon entering, he starts an EMF session, and during it, hears some unexplained noises. Mm -mm. Bro. I know that's not your grandma. Later, man. more subtle noises are coming from the adjacent room. The house. When he goes to look, he finds nothing. <laughs> Homeboy by himself, too. He assumes that it's his grandfather. Is he correct? I'm leaning that way too. Bro, why is that house the looking so crazy abandoned, bro? <clears throat> Number seven, no, ghostly ring. Ring doorbell captures some crazy stuff. Here's yet another head scratcher. Redditor visible appointment four is wondering what they've captured on their ring camera footage. What was this? While many in the comments offer up the usual suspects, a bug or dust, Word. others have come up with much more creative theories. A chupacabra, nigga, really? Really, nigga? Oh, you're the only one that sees that. One redditor also Oops. notes that the orb appears to pass behind the tree, it's which like would discount the bug on the lens theory. Oh, well, I'm not so. sure that chupacabra or man bear pig are any more likely. I do right, think this could fuck? potentially be paranormal. You just said anything. You just literally Number just said six, anything. Buzzing by. I'm gonna come right out and say it. Oh my this god. This is probably my just light. an insect, but my it's a surprising has... one. A redditor who has since deleted their account asks the Reddit community Hold any up. idea what this Hold up. Wait a minute. Damn, I wanna mess up my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I said I said what I said. You heard me right. What? I didn't even hear what he said. 
and Whoa. Have a cat? Stop scooping cat litter. No, the litter so robot. why are you giving the me this ad? Self-cleaning litter box. The fuck? And redditors come out in droves to answer. Two, five, what, what, like, a fireball, like, nigga, what? It's like a bug. Hell no. That shit was moving at light speed, nigga. The last Redditor also shared this still image. Hopefully that don't be the same likes, too. While I oh, like the no. creativity, the image has convinced me it's a bug, but that was a crazy entrance. Nevertheless, Less, yeah. number five, watched YouTuber Dima Maslenikov and his team are wondering if they're being watched in this that? Japanese forest. When you show up, you forget to just think. Young, but also young. Aoki Gohara Forest does have a grisly reputation. I wouldn't doubt that something demonic is ever present. With headphones on, one of the team hears knocking on their microphone. In the darkness, they capture a whispered EVP. Not sure what the meaning of this what is, but if anyone knows Japanese, that, bro? Like, please the share in the comments. Fuck? They also spot oh, no, something uncanny Bigfoot. in the thick forest. Yeah, they don't got Bigfoot. Is this a they ghost girl? Bigfoot. Looks like it to me. Ghost girl? And I That's guess that answers see? the question. Yes, they're being watched. Number four. Indigenous they look card like them game. things from Star Wars. The ancient origins of a dark and intense indigenous card game is unearthed in this video by YouTube oh. channel Unearthing the Supernatural. Spirits are members at the table, and the stakes can go so far as eternal light or darkness. Would you dare play? Alright, we can play cards. What you want to do is play cards. Mm -hmm. All right. Play cards right the spirits signal that they want to play cards. They then respond to the ante. I got tobacco. You, you light up one of the lights if tobacco is good enough to play in. All right. They end up with the same hand as the spirit. Which. Yours. We both ended up with the same hand. I'm not sure what would have happened if he'd lost, but this game, played against the paranormal, seems too high stakes for me. Number three, <laughs> Ghost <laughs> Touch. This can't YouTuber Dylan Spratt spends his graveyard shift like, in cemeteries, speaking with the spirits that reside oh, there. On this shift, they come closer than they ever have before. Somebody just grabbed my shoulder? Okay. Dylan feels something, but the spirits don't admit to it. I don't know why he, why he's laughing. I don't know why he's laughing. He tries to get to the bottom of the mystery. Can you please tell me the name of the person that just grabbed my shoulders? Us. Is that just had to? Although he never gets an answer as to who grabbed his <laughs> shoulder, I've never seen someone flinch so hard. I think Dalen is for sure getting in touch with the spiritual realm. Number two. Say, oh, let me touch his shoulder Halloween real quick. See haunt. Too. Spirits come out in top form on Halloween night, and YouTuber Magical Poltergeist's Poltergeist is breaking out its best tricks. Just watch. Damn. That nigga got so mad. It doesn't stop after she leaves the room.
and it sounds like something happens off screen too. Boy, Some are saying the poltergeist is likely a child spirit since it seems to enjoy causing mischief. If that's the case, child, child I give that spirit a that? treat before Who's it that? causes any more tricks. I've got a challenge for you. Oh, Since really? you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Exactly. Because I upload four new scary videos every week. Exactly. If you're curious exactly. about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at Dylan is chillin YT and tap that follow button. To no find funny, out. I gotta find out. Number one. I, I low key, I low key do gotta While find out if that's this real voice, bro. Because I, I really. Is that a person or a quarter? What is that in the right hand corner? The redditor thinks it's a female form. Female form. If you ask me, I would say that it's a woman. I have another two videos on different days, but they're just the same thing and nothing new. Bro, what makes you think that's a woman, bro? My creative head, my creative head, seeing like a whole back of a head right here, with like some, like a little high top little cut. His head, the back of his head, you feel me? And you see the shoulder. <laughs> you see the shoulders right here. You see the shoulder and then the back of his shit. Like he reclined, like he's sitting in the seat. <laughs> Don't pay me no Some mind, in the bro. comments think this is legit. A woman, though? I didn't read that. I'm not reading that. I yeah, agree no, that no. this one looks too real. It's so real that it's causing viewers to panic. Me included. Okay, I, I see maybe why they can say it look like a woman. And maybe like a dress or something. I don't freaking know, bro. But this is your boy, Chosen Pharaoh. I'm going to do another reaction to maybe another scary one or try and apply. Anyway. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure y'all smash that like button. Comment down below if you would like. If you also would like to request something better, maybe something more paranormal, maybe something scarier, comment down below and let me know. Or click the link in one of the descriptions below to the Discord and join the Discord and um, send in your video. But till next time, it's your boy Chosen Pharaoh, and I'm out, y'all. Go see.